Welcome to all you need to know before imaging this or that. In this quick video, we're going to show you some tips and tricks for how to get the best possible image for this target. Let's, Let's go. go. You're going to find M16 in the constellation of serpents. Uh, it is about 7,000 light years away and it's actually in the Milky Way band when viewed from Earth. So there is a plenty of other deep sky objects around it like M17, the Omega Nebula, uh, M18, M24, uh, M11, M25, M26. I all mean, right, all right, all right. <laughs> there's just so many and many, so many of them. Um, and it's a great area of the sky to capture. M16 is also known as the Eagle Nebula because it looks like an eagle spreading its wings. I'm not sure if you can like visualize it. It has a magnitude of 6.0, which means that it's very, very bright. And it's also very large, mostly because of all the gas that's around it. This right here is M16 taken in 1995 by the Hubble Space Telescope. Well, more specifically, the Pillars of Creation. If you've never seen this image before, then I think you're probably living in a cave. This was a huge thing back then. Uh, it's probably the most famous picture of M16 ever taken. Iconic. And, yeah, I think it's the most iconic picture by uh, the Hubble Space Telescope. That was just crazy. The tallest pillar in this picture is four light years high. Just try to picture that. It's insane. You can capture this target using an unmodified DSLR camera or a cooled astronomy camera, preferably with narrowband filters. As a starting point, we do recommend 5 to 10 minute exposures and spending at least 4 hours on it. Our first attempt at M16 was with our stock uh, Canon T3i, so a very old camera. And I, I think it was ISO 400, and you can see a single shot here, I think it was 3 minutes long. And I remember I was so shocked or you that was me, I think you were there. I was so shocked when I saw the pillars of creation on the viewfinder um, because I, I didn't really understand how bright they were. Uh, that's because of the open cluster all around it. There's so many bright stars and those stars make the uh, pillars of creation super, super bright. So you can really easily see them uh, on the viewfinder, which is insane. Yeah, for such an iconic image, you wouldn't think that you'd be able to see something like that that you did on your own, right? And that was my long time goal. Like when I was starting this hobby, I was like, I want the pillars of creation so bad. And it was just so easy. <laughs> Three minutes, oh, they're there. We then imaged M16 again with the, our ASI 1600 monochrome camera with narrowband filters. And we only spent eight hours on it, but if you wanted to take a deeper look into it, Galactic Hunter episode 14 is all about the Eagle Nebula. And here are some single shots taken with this setup. So with the ASI 1600 monochrome camera and um, a small refractor telescope. So here is S2, which looks meh. Here is O3, which also looks meh, but here is HA. Wow. That's <laughs> like seriously, wow. <laughs> HA is wow. Amazing. It's, it's so beautiful. There is just so much HA gas there. Yes, M16 has so much hydrogen alpha in it, and that's why it's such a good narrowband target. Here is our final product after eight hours. And if your data is good, you can actually uh, combine the colors differently and there are so many possibilities and honestly it always looks nice and very interesting um, also so m16 can be you know photographed with both uh, long focal length telescopes and short focal length telescopes so if your goal is to really get deep onto the uh, uh, pillars of creation then try to get your hands on a, a long focal length telescope but if you'd rather just get the expanding gas all around uh, the nebula, then a small, you know, a small wide refractor is perfect for this target. All right, now it's time to spread your wings and fly like an eagle and go capture M16, the Eagle Nebula. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> we hope this video helped you get to know this target just a little bit better and helped to prepare you to image it. We would love to see your image, so go on our website and find this object on our gallery and attach your image to the comment section. We would love to see it. And by the way, online, we have a bunch more tips for so many, so many objects. So go on there and check it out. So we'll catch you guys next time and clear, clear skies. skies.